Hey guys, Darren here from Property Prosperity. I was just having a chat to a client earlier on today. They, um, they've got a property they're looking at selling off and um, they think it's got development potential. So they're like, oh man, that's awesome. We can get a developer to come in and buy it and then they can pay lots of money for it and we're gonna make all this cash and it's gonna be awesome. Um, I suppose my my logic behind you know selling properties, if you know if you're leaving some value in the property, you know, and you gotta remember why a developer would buy a property. You know, the only reason they're going to buy a property if they're going to make money out of it. So if I'm a person that's going to sell my property and I'm going to sell it to a developer, you got to understand you're selling it for less than the value of the property. And so, you know, if you're selling it for less than what the property's worth, then you know you're giving it away to the next guy. So you know, I'd I'd always question like if you're selling it away for less than it's worth, then you know why don't you try and realize some of the value in the property? You know, if you can realize some of that value yourself, you know why. It's better to have that money in your pocket than have some, you know, have the money in a developer's pocket. So, yeah, like I said, just if you can, if you're already at the start, you know, you're going to sell it off to someone to for them to make money. Then why don't you just make the money yourself? I suppose, you know, some people might be scared or they might think it's you know beyond them or it's not possible for them to make any money out of things. But you know, with the right advice or get some, you know, get a second opinion or get some more information. You know, at the end of the day, you got to weigh up, you know, the cost versus versus benefit I suppose so you know if it's gonna be a massive hassle and it's gonna be really risky and you're not gonna be able to sleep at night and you're gonna be really stressed then you know if you're gonna make a few extra dollars it's probably not worth it but when you're talking you know you know 50 or 100 or heaps more money then you gotta weigh up you know you know is it worth a little bit of stress or a little bit of hassle for you know 50 grand maybe not maybe for a hundred grand or 150 grand or 200 grand yeah you know, at some point in time you're gonna start saying hang on well you know, if I'm going to make 50 grand more, if I just put in this little bit more effort, you know, that's a whole year's wage. I think, I think where you know, people go a little bit wrong sometimes in the world of properties, they don't really appreciate that it's real money. You know, the difference between you know, fifty thousand dollars more, or fifty thousand dollars less. You know, the average wage in Australia is like fifty thousand dollars. So it's like a whole year of someone sitting at a desk typing away at a computer. You know, just by putting you putting in a little bit more effort than you otherwise you know, may have to put in. And the crazy thing about if you, you know, maybe you renovate the property or maybe you develop it, so you, you subdivide off a portion of you. You know, if you do something a little bit more creative, it doesn't necessarily take that much more work. So, you know, just for a, that small amount of effort, you know, if you can make forty, fifty, you know, a whole year's wage, you know, you might find you can actually hire other people to do the work for you. So. You don't actually have to do anything. You just to ring up someone, they come out and do all the work for you, and then you create all this extra value. Then when you go to sell it off, rather than giving away a develop away to a developer to buy it and and make all this money, you've you've got that money in your pocket. And it's not about the money; it's about what you can do with the money. You know that extra fifty thousand dollars, or even if it's twenty thousand dollars, or it's a hundred thousand dollars, whatever it is, that extra money allows you to do the next thing you want to do. You know, and even that extra money might mean you've got some more money in the bank, so you get a little bit less of stress, or you, you know, you can buy a slightly better house than you otherwise would have, or um, you know, you can take your kids on a holiday. You know, so I suppose that's what I would caution people. If you're thinking, okay, well, cool, I, I just can't be bothered. I'm just going to sell off to somebody else, and and you already know there's some extra value in the property, then why not at least consider? You know, is there any way you can try and pull some of that extra value out of there? So. So that's my advice today. So if you, if you know there's a bit of, there's potential value in the property, then you know maybe go off and get a bit of advice and just see you know see what's possible you know and then work out you know weigh up the pros and cons. Obviously, you don't want to go through all the hassle of developing a property and find out it's not worth it. Um, but likewise, I'd probably say to you, you know, if your logic is I'm going to sell it off to a developer and then um, you know they're just going to buy it and pay me lots of money, then if it's not worth you developing the property, then why would it be worth a developer paying the, buy, uh, buying the property? Because the situation's that you're always in a better um, situation where, than a developer buying it because you already own the property. You know, a developer comes in and buys a property, they're going to pay stamp duty up front, so that's going to cost them some money. And you know, assuming they're not going to live in it, they're going to have interest they're going to be paying. You know, and also they've got the risk that they, you know, who knows what they can or cannot do. So you're in a situation that you you got very little risk, and you can go off and investigate your options. You're already living in the house already, so. It's not costing you anything as far as that goes. You don't pay any stamp duty. You don't have any you know, interest or holding costs, they call it. Um, and then even you lodge an application, you find out it gets knocked back. You know, worst, What's the worst case scenario? You spend you know, a few bucks to find out it's going to get knocked back. The cool thing about that, if it gets knocked back, a developer wasn't going to buy it anyway. You know, a, a developer is not going to take a massive punt and a massive risk on something that might get knocked back. So whereas you're in a situation, you can take a bit of a punt and you know, a bit of a risk, I suppose. So. 
Um, unless you know then straight away, rather than putting on the market expecting you're going to get a developer to buy it and then no one buys it, then you're really disappointed, I suppose. Well, if you lodge the application, find out whether you can develop it. Um, and then if you can't develop it, well, that's great. You know you're not marketing it to a developer. You're marketing it to a, a mum and dad or someone that's going to live in it. So straight away, you can target your marketing strategy to suit the person that's going to buy it rather than trying to go, oh, I'll focus on developers and people that are going to live in it. So you can you can really plan for your marketing. The other option, you know, worst case scenario, you've lodged the application, you know, find it does get approved and then suddenly you've got all this extra value. And even if you choose then not to develop the property, when you're selling it, you can present that to any potential developer say, hey, well, there's $50,000 worth of profit profit in this deal. I've already had the approvals. All you have to do is come and finish it off. You know, who wouldn't buy it? You know, you're taking away all that risk for the developer. Yeah, you know, even if it's only fifty thousand dollars, you know, they might pay you um, you know, ten thousand dollars more than they otherwise would, or twenty thousand dollars more than they otherwise would, because you've already created that extra value than than otherwise if they had to buy it and then take the punt themselves. So that's pretty much my advice today. So just you know, think outside the square. If you, if you know there's been potential in your property, just go and put a little bit of time, a little bit of research in there, and and you know, see what your options are. Maybe get some advice from someone and. Um, yeah, don't assume that everyone else has to make the money. If, if you've got an option to make some money, then you know why not have a look into it? So um, thanks, guys. I see a couple of people liked my uh, my little rant so far. I appreciate that. And uh, if anyone's got any questions or any comments, if you feel that you know someone that might find this interesting and they, you know, maybe they're sitting on a gold mine or maybe they think they're sitting on a gold mine and they're not really sure, then, you know, maybe if you click on the share button, I'm sure they might find it interesting. And um, yeah, so thanks, guys. Also, if you want to put a comment in there um, and you've got a future little um, question you want answered or something else you'd like to find out about in the future, then you know, click a comment on there and I'll, I'll keep it in mind for next time. So look forward to talking again soon and we'll see you later. Thanks.